All right, so it's been a while, but in this video, I'm gonna bring you guys the top 10 best bloodlines of shit life. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, subscribe to the video, guys. All right, so coming in 10th place is going to be Indra Akuma. Now, I've talked about this a lot of times before, so I'm not going to go into big detail on it. Pretty much very, very low mode drain. You get super high raised block, big M1s, and honestly, most importantly of all, it, it is honestly just the raised block. The raised block for the low amount of mode drain just instantly kind of makes the KG good. As you'll probably see from the other KGs on here, they will rank higher just because their abilities are also good. Indra Akuma abilities, they're fine. They're kind of like bread and butter abilities. Good stun, good damage attack. I mean, it is what it is when it comes to Indra Akuma. Now coming to ninth place is honestly going to be one of my overall favorite bloodlines ever made in Shindle Life. It's going to be Snake Man. Now Snake Man has had its ups and downs, but I honestly think Snake Man's raw damage, honestly, you know, it kind of makes up for the lack of versatility the kit has. So as you guys can see, oh, I will, if I were to land that, Snake Man just overall has just a ton of damage. The, the amount of damage it has is absolutely absurd. It also has move stacking potential, and it obviously also has stunning potential. It's just a really, really good bloodline. It always has been, always probably will be as well because snake man's kind of flying under the radar right now so snake man it's a good bloodline to get overall it has some really insane amount of damage and pretty good for combos as well now this wouldn't be a top 10 tier list without including kamaki inferno which undoubtedly has one of the absolute best counters in the entire game because the counter actually stacks based on the attacks that they actually use so if you use the counter and they use a multi-stage attack they will hit, they, the counter will hit them multiple times so it is honestly quite ridiculous not to mention the fact that the com other kamaki abilities they're not the worst thing in the world they're pretty high damage abilities pretty easy to use overall they're just not the best either but like i was talking about the main reason why this is going to be here is actually first of all it's going to be the mode counter which hits multiple times based on the amount of times they hit you and obviously the grab move i mean the grab move it's an instantaneous grab move that allows you to combo extend and apparently um make people fall through the map uh, i don't know why that happened all right so you guys if you guys have done pvp at all you guys will have known powder is an absolute powerhouse of a bloodline it's going to mainly be this third move which allows you to move stack pretty much anything afterwards so it's just a really good move overall the reason why it's going to rank so low in the list is honestly just because you have to have other bloodlines to make this bloodline usable now coming to sixth place is going to be yet another one of my favorite bloodlines Ashura Shizen now like I previously mentioned with Indra Akuma it's basically like very similar of a bloodline this is basically just a better version of Indra Akuma you get you get the raised block you get the you know buffed m1s you also get pretty much every move of Indra Akuma but better so you get an insane combo extender you get a block break breaking guard break move that is just a you know block breaking stun obviously going to be insanely good i just really like ashura shizen i mean if you don't like ashura then you probably you know you probably don't know what you're doing now starting off the top five is going to be tetsu kaijin now i personally think this bloodline is very boring i you know the people that use it are kind of boring but it is what it is it has a block breaking move pretty basic the second move is just a damage attack that makes you dash towards them the, I'm, i'll be real the main reason why people use tetsu kaijin is this automatic so no hand sign grab move that allows you to cast abilities afterwards. I don't really need to say why that's broken. That is just absolutely absurd. Not to mention the fact that Tetsu Kaijin has pretty insane amounts of damage and some pretty good stun attacks. So, you know, Tetsu Kaijin, let's be real, the grab attack kind of carries the bloodline. Now coming to fourth place, you guys should say hello to the Aizen bloodline. Now, I'm be real, this is kind of just an RPG bloodline. I am using the skin, so as you guys can see, there is a bug with the skin where it just makes a block appear on the ground. Never fixed, by the way, it's been like months since this so it's kind of funny that this is still in the game but Aizen I mean the moves are pretty mid like you guys can see it has a guard break you know it has that move it could summon clones it's just it's a pretty mid uh this isn't the bloodline that summons clones by the way my bad but it's a pretty mid bloodline but the thing about Aizen that is so good if you use the weapon spec it is pretty much just an infinite tin tails it also is insanely fast it's this is just a god tier RPG bloodline I mean just for the mode alone this bloodline is easily top five probably even top three depending on where you use it the reason why i'm gonna rank it so low is because it's just meant for rpg i mean that's just an rpg thing all right so we're gonna be starting with the honorable mentions that these are the bloodlines that didn't actually make it onto the list but they're still pretty good themselves now obviously you have a paul sand i really like this bloodline i don't really use the third move of it though which is the, definitely the best move of it pretty much gives you damage reduction and cc immunity just a really good move overall just a very good passive move and then you also have ray karata as honorable mention one in this list let's be real when you see this fat man boulder rolling towards you you have one of two options you either dodge it or you face tank it unless you dodge it you will be getting comboed so you know it is what it is with for ray karata that fat man boulder move definitely kind of carries the bloodline all right so i'm sure some of you guys skipped here but we're finally on to the top three of this video starting off the top three is going to be right in 
Cyberu. Very cool bloodline. I mean, let's be real here. I mean, like the moves, they're cool. Even though I do feel like this bloodline is kind of like half baked. The, the animations are really wacky. It is good. The first move is pretty much a transporting stun attack that allows you to combo extend afterwards, even though you do actually have to use, you know, moves that are ranged because since you flip back, but the flipping back has no, you know, stun time on it. So you're good. The main reason why Ride of Cyber is going to be here is the second move, which does bypass block. Pretty broken overall. I mean, it allows you to start combos and things like that. And obviously it does have a really, really, really insanely good counter that allows you to start combos. So, I mean, like, Right at Cyber, it's not the most amazing or most flashy thing in the world, but it's just a pretty solid bloodline overall. And I do think the counter of it is at, I mean, at the counter, the second move of it is absolutely amazing. Coming in second place is going to be the Getsuga bloodline. I'm sure you guys expected this. I mean, let's be real here. Getsuga, it's an EKG. Automatically gets brownie points for being an EKG. And they gave it probably undoubtedly one of the single best grab moves in the game because it has a very long stun time. It has no end lag to the actual move, so you can cast moves while that hand is going on and just absolutely hammer that. You can pretty much kill someone by the time that hand is over with how many moves it's in the game. So that hand move, even being on the EKG slot, is just absolutely busted. The other moves of Getsuga are very okay overall. I mean, you got some damage moves. I don't recommend using this one because if you get caught out, you're going to get slammed. The mode is okay overall. I definitely think the best part of the mode is the raised block you get. Like you guys can see, you get big M1s, just like a Shurish is an Indra Akuma. I'm going to use this. Boom, look, I'm Karama. I'm cool and all like that. But the main reason people use this is actually the grab move. This grab move is so just so so freaking busted it's literally just going to be on here for that but it also does have you know so it, it, it does have some pretty cool aspects to the actual bloodline itself it has some pretty cool cool counters pretty cool combo extenders but i mean like you also have two grab moves i forgot about i forgot about the counter which is, i'm not the counter the throwable which is literally just the first move doubled up double cheeked up man all right so coming in first place is going to be code gaiden now this bloodline i feel like is a very underutilized bloodline by people this bloodline is freaking ridiculous man i when i was testing this bloodline out this is just absolutely absurd so first of all you can throw something to people click on them and it teleports them to you so you can pretty much infinite combo people literally just from this i mean you have to be standing near it at all you can also click on them by the way so boom i'm gonna click on them and it, you'll teleport to them stun them it's pretty much an instant stun attack it, do i need to explain why that's so broken that's ridiculous. And then obviously you do have the first move, which summons clones. I mean, like it's a clone attack. What do you guys expect? It's a pretty good move overall. And then another move of code guidance. So it doesn't only have one broken move. The actual third move of it is an instantaneous stun attack, which by the way, this does bypass block and has probably, it's probably the longest stun out of any grab move in the game. Besides maybe Getsuga. This move is undoubtedly super broken. So it has actually two broken moves on its normal move set. Combined with the fact that the actual mode isn't that bad itself. If you get hit hit by any move of the mode, specifically like the C spec, and I'm pretty sure the weapon spec as well, if you hit them, it, it'll put every single one of your moves on cooldown. It's either the weapon spec or the throwable, it puts all your moves on cooldown. So there's nothing you can do about it. You can't auto dodge because it puts it on cooldown. All you can do is body replacement. I mean, like, look at this. This bloodline is freaking busted, man. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this shit to life video, hit that like button, subscribe. Hope to see you next one, guys. Peace.